Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So I'm in the car, I'm about to go to Whole Foods and I'm gonna get some groceries for the weekend, hopefully do some Valentine's Day grocery shopping. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get there before the weekend because I have a feeling it's gonna be really packed this weekend, as you may know. It's Valentine's Day. I think people are gonna be making food at home this Valentine's Day and there's probably some product I just wanna get just to be done so I don't have to go back to the store this weekend. So, well, for those certain items. So that's what I'm doing. And um, yeah, are you having a good Thursday? I hope you are. Today at work, it was very crazy. It seems like it was just, it was just very crazy. Uh, yesterday was crazy. Today was very crazy as well. Um, but I'm glad it's almost the weekend. Hopefully uh, tomorrow will be a little bit easier so well that's what i'm doing so i'm gonna go now and i don't know what will happen i may talk on my way there i may not we'll see okay bye so i'm on my way to whole foods on this cold day it actually it really hasn't been too cold i mean compared to some other states uh it's 30 degrees right now so you know Hey, it could be it could be significantly colder, which I think it's supposed to get down to the teens later tonight. It's probably been in the teens every night, but there's snow on the ground, uh, as you can see. So there's snow. So, but yeah, it's a it's been a pretty good day so far. Besides it just being very busy, nothing bad has happened. So that's always good. I talked to my mom yesterday uh, for a very long time and it was really good to talk to her. I talked to my dad as well. So it's just good to hear from them. Um, nothing really new with them. Well, you know, someone in my family uh, recently, my great uncle, okay, he was, maybe he was my great, great uncle. I don't know, I don't know, but he was 82 and him and his wife both uh, got COVID and they and uh, my great aunt passed away uh, a couple days ago. So that's I know that's really hard for uh, my great uncle. Well, actually, I know it's hard for the whole family. My great uncle uh, just came out of a coma. Coma? Yeah, he just came out of uh, a coma yesterday. So it was induced in, in co a coma, and yeah. So that's crazy. He, I don't know if he knows yet. So, yeah, that's what's been happening. But honestly, like, I know it's really sad. I know it's really sad. So I'm glad that just didn't happen to my parents. I'm thankful for that. Downtown is uh, looking a little bit busier than normal. I'm sure some companies are coming back to work. Maybe not. I don't actually know. I just said that. I just made that up. But it does look busier. Oh wow, they closed off some stuff. Oh, you know, it's because they're they're beautifying everything or whatever it's called. There's quite a few people here at uh, Whole Foods. This person's backing out the wrong way. That's okay. Okay, so I'm here at Whole Foods now. I need to go inside and grab a few things for lunch and dinner. And I would also like to get a couple items that I'm going to use for making uh, a Valentine's dinner and possibly Valentine's breakfast, just see what's there. Um, and so that will have to be, you know, just one less thing I have to remember to get at the store. So, and I may get dinner there tonight. I may not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to go inside and look around and just, I haven't been inside to Whole Foods in a, a while. Actually, I went this week. So never mind. I'm just going to go inside. So. So I'm walking inside, there's a traffic jam. People are waiting for other people to park. Oh, here's it, look at this, this is crazy. That one car holding up everyone else. There's parking downstairs. People just need to go downstairs. So, yeah, okay, well here's the entrance. Ooh. 
There's Bank of America. I'm gonna grab a basket. Have you ever had these uh, candy cotton grapes? They're grapes that taste like candy cotton. And then there's grapes that taste like grapes. I found a jar of pork fat. Do any of you drink Zevia? This drink right here? If so, what's your favorite flavor? I've had it a few times. I mean, it's fine. It's definitely not, it's definitely not something I buy often. Maybe like a couple times I've bought it, but I don't really like the flavor. So it's uh, the aftertaste that gets me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some Parmesan cheese. This is real Parmesan Reggiano. So I'm gonna get some bread. Have any of you ever had the Dave's uh, killer bread? Very interesting story, you know? He went to prison, his dad was a baker, but then, you know, he started his own bread company. Very interesting. But I think I'm just gonna settle for these. Cause, I mean, that's twice as expensive as this. You know? This is $249, $579. I'm just gonna go with that, you know? So I'm gonna get this one. They're pretty good. I'll eat them in the morning. Now I gotta find stuffed shells. I'm also going to get some cashew milk. Ooh, unsweet cashew milk. I find that uh, I find that cashew milk is uh, creamier and tastes better than almond milk. So I'm gonna get that. I don't think they have what I want. So the biggest shells they have are these. I don't think this is what I want. I think those are a little small. I came here just hoping they had better options, so. Oh well, that's fine. At least I saw what they have and I'll just go from there. So now I'm in the car. I'm, I'm at Whole Foods in the garage. Now I'm gonna leave if I can get out. There's cars coming in constantly. So uh, yeah, everyone's trying to get a parking spot and currently there's someone behind me. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I'll talk to you in just a second. Well, I'm on my way back. My windproof microphone cover came off. So I'll put that on when I get back to the apartment. Now, what else am I doing? You know, I can definitely tell the days are getting longer as far as the sun. The sun is staying up longer. It's really nice. That is one thing I really like about summer are the longer days. I think that really, I don't know, just makes it more enjoyable, makes you feel like you're doing more in the winter. Yeah, it's easy to feel like you do nothing, especially when you just work at home. But I, I really, I love working at home. So I'm here in the garage of my apartment and currently someone is trying to jump their car. I definitely understand the feeling. So I'm not gonna show you what I got down here because he's like three feet away from me and I don't wanna make him feel awkward because I would feel awkward, but maybe that's just me. But if someone's in the car talking to a camera and then kind of looking at you because I have a problem, I stare at people when I'm not supposed to. And I know if I stay down here any longer, there's gonna be parts of this video where I'm just gonna be looking at who them. So I just don't wanna do that. Okay, so I'm going upstairs and then I'll show you what I got and I think Emily's home. I'll see you in just a second. Bye. So I'm here back at the apartment. Hopefully this camera's straight. And I didn't really get anything that interesting, but I was hoping to get more, but I'm glad I went to Whole Foods anyways. So I get this uncured turkey bacon. 
I find that it's the crispiest turkey bacon. Now, I'm not a fan of turkey bacon, but uh, I like this turkey bacon. Let me show you. It's very crispy. It's, I, it's just good. It's just very good turkey bacon. So I'm going to... I like to use that, and so I might use that to bake some uh, quiches or something like that, some egg white quiches, maybe. And I got my soup. I really like this soup, and I get it when it's on sale. It's Be Well, uh, lemon, mint, and ginger chicken bone broth. Now I get it, it's mainly just like a quick lunch item or maybe a snack, so I like, I like that. And I got some cashew milk, unsweet cashew milk. I would get the one that's cold, but I couldn't find any at Whole Foods that was just cashew milk. It was like cashew coconut and other stuff like that, cashew almond. But I think cashew milk is, uh, it's just very good. Oh, this isn't, oh, this is unsweet. I think cashew milk tastes creamier than regular, uh, not dairy, dairy-free milk. So, and it doesn't have as strong of a flavor as coconut milk. Almond milk does, I don't know, it tastes more like water. Cashew milk, I find, is very good. Oat milk is good too, but oat milk uh, is very strong, in my opinion. It's a strong oat flavor. But I do know it's commonly used for baristas, for like vegan drinks, uh, because it makes the best, whatever it's called, foam. It's easy to foam in the espresso machine uh, to make lattes with. And then I got some Parmesan Reggiano, just regular uh, Parmesan. And then I got some gnocchi. I got this gnocchi. Oh, let me show it to you again. It's just gnocchi, frozen whole foods gnocchi. It's very good. I like it. It's a uh, quick, easy meal to have with just some salad or whatever, whatever. You can soup. So I like it a lot. And then I also got, oh, so I got this at Whole Foods because it was on sale. Normally I wouldn't get this, but I got Halo Top ice cream. Do any of you have Halo or like Halo Top ice cream? If so, uh, comment down below your favorite flavor and if you're still watching, uh, comment down below uh, red velvet or cake or use the cake emoji. I love red velvet cake. It's one of my favorite things. This is red velvet cake halo top ice cream. It's, it's very good. Um, I love red velvet cake. It's one of my favorite things to make with my mom and it's awesome. And it's not just chocolate cake, at least in my opinion. I know some people, are very critical of it and they're, they say, oh, red velvet cake is just chocolate cake with whatever red dye in it. I think if it's homemade, this sounds weird, but the red dye changes the flavor like majorly. And um, also sometimes there's uh, coffee in it, but not always. The, the kind I make, I put a little bit of coffee in it because it does increase the chocolate. That coffee and that chocolate uh, just mixes really well and it, makes it taste richer so but yeah do you do you think red velvet is just chocolate cake maybe i'm crazy but i always feel like it tasted different emily do you think red velvet cake is chocolate cake does yeah. it do you think it tastes the same yeah huh okay maybe i'm crazy i don't know so i got that and i got one last thing i got some something that most people uh, in Indiana love, but people all around America love. And that's cornbread. I got some cornbread for some soup we'll have tonight. And I guess you could also, I guess you eat cornbread with chili, but you can eat it with anything. So we got that and that's all I got. So yeah, I, I actually got nothing, almost nothing I would use to make for Valentine's Day. Oh well. I was kind of a, whatever. I got food for the week, for the weekend. So yeah, I got some food for dinner and lunch and I got out of the house, so that's good. So yeah, 
Well, I'm going to go now. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Oh, there was something I wanted to talk about. Oh, here's something I watched. So ABC, I think, has this Anna Nicole documentary that you can find on YouTube. It's It just recently came out. I think it just came out. Maybe it came out last year, but it's in series. So there's part one through five, and then... Uh, I, I think they have the full series on YouTube. It's, anyways, it's a, it's a documentary made by ABC about Anna Nicole Smith, and it's very interesting. I really like it. I really found it um, just intriguing because Anna Nicole, I don't know. Yeah, I just found it interesting. It kind of reminded me of the Free Britney thing, but only the fame part of it, like how famous she became and just... Her home life was really not the greatest. And Brittany, you know, the fame really hurt her a lot and her home life wasn't the greatest. So, yeah. Wow, two really sad stories in the past couple days. But if you haven't watched it, you should watch the uh, Brittany documentary that's out on Hulu. And I would also recommend the Anna Nicole documentary. It's it's pretty interesting. You know, a lot of times I've, I have watched uh, documentaries about Anna Nicole before and they've been kind of... Uh, trashy i would say but this one is really really good so i liked it a lot it wasn't as it didn't it didn't paint her to be like a crazy famous celebrity even though she was it made it very relatable which is why i enjoyed it so same with the britney one. Oh, maybe that's what i like about both of them i i feel like documentaries in the past maybe 50, maybe 10 years ago, they were more about just, they didn't get as personal and they really didn't talk about mental health as much. And both of those documentaries kind of talk about mental health and just, they expose a lot of things. It's definitely something that's more common now, exposing the situation for what it is. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. I'll see you tomorrow. You might see Emily tomorrow, and I'll talk to you later. If no one's told you this today, you are loved, and this world's a better place because you are here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.